Hey everybody, Dr. Kristen here. I'm excited for today's Together on Thursday video. Bo is ready to work, aren't you? <gasps> you ready to go to work? You want to do some fun things? So we have a great list of five activities that you can do with your dog. So today I set up a nose work obstacle course for Bo. This is our first activity that we're going to talk about today is trying out nose work with your dog. So I hid two separate treats underneath these cardboard boxes. I think Bo maybe found the first one already. Yeah, he actually did. Nose work is a really cool game that you can play with your dog. It's great for puppies, older dogs. It's a fun thing you can do inside when it's raining or outside. All you really need is just something that you can hide treats in. So you can use blankets or boxes. One of the cool things that I thought was really interesting is we always know that dogs are really sensitive to smells. So humans, we have 6 million olfactory bulb receptors in our nose, but dogs have 300 million. So they're really, really sensitive to different scents and smells. Oh. The second activity we're gonna talk about today is playing hide and seek with your dog. I really love this game. It's a great indoor game. It's also really fun outside. It's also a really great way to practice recall with your dog. Recalls when your dog comes to you, when you call out its name. So this is a fun game. So your dog is used to coming to you in a fun way when you say their name. All right, Bo, you ready to play hide and seek? Okay, now you need to stay. It's also a great way to practice your stay. Stay, Bo. Stay, Bo. Stay. Come find me. Come find me. Come find me. Come find me. Oh, <laughs> that took you a while. <laughs> what I'm gonna talk about is setting an intention before you start your walk with your dog. Setting an intention is a really great practice because it creates a space for you to be present and mindful. So maybe your intention is to just joy the sights and the smells of your neighborhood. Maybe you're going to be practicing a really good heel. Your intention can always change. And so today, me and Bo are just gonna have a really nice walk and enjoy the neighborhood. Ready? Okay, Bo, let's go. fourth thing that we're going to talk about is heat safety. It is starting to get hot outside, so we need to make sure that we're always prepared when we take our dog outside. So something I always like to do, even when I go on short walks, is just take a bag with me and bring some water and a nice water bowl for your dog. As you can see, Bo is really thirsty. <laughs> We've only taken a few steps. This bowl I really like, um, it's actually made by Cycle Dog. It's a company out in Portland, so they sew all the materials with recycled bike tires. I like it because it fits Bo's face really well. He has a very wide muzzle, and it also dries pretty quickly. So there's a lot of different kinds of water bowls that you can bring. There are some that are made out of canvas, 
nylon, there are some that are hard plastics or attachments for the water bottle. So that is one thing that we always need to make sure is we always bring fresh water for our dogs when we go out on hikes or any walks. So if it is 77 degrees outside, that means that the asphalt can get 125 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really, really hot. So our dog's paws, they have pads on the bottom and they're really sensitive. So if it gets too hot outside, it's not great for their paws. So one thing that you can do before you start your walk is to do a quick check. So come on, Bo, let's check and see how hot it is. Okay, since you're going to the street, always check. Okay. And then put your hand down on the asphalt for about three seconds. If you can hold your hand on the asphalt for three seconds, then it's not too hot for your dog's paws. Okay, so the fifth activity we're gonna talk about today is sharing a snack with your dog. I don't know about you, but recording all these videos is a lot of work and I'm actually pretty hungry. I think Bo is too. And Bo is very much deserving of a nice treat. Now, there are a lot of foods that you can share with your dog, but there's also a lot of foods you cannot share. So some dog-friendly snacks that you can share with your dog are carrots, blueberries, bananas. Bananas are especially Bo's favorite, huh? Apple slices, you just have to avoid the seeds of apples. Those can be toxic to dogs. Those are really great things that you can share with your pet. Sometimes I just give it to Bo as a treat. Another fun thing is to spice up your dog's diet is sometimes putting nice fruits and veggies as a topper to your dog's kibble. So Bo really likes to have that, especially for his dinner, huh? All right, Bo, you've been a good boy today. <gasps> oh. I think I deserve one too. Thanks again for tuning in to 4-H Together on Thursdays. I hope you have fun trying out these activities with your dog. I know Bo really enjoyed it. I think the snacks and the treats were your favorite part. What do you think? And also I was really impressed with the hide and seek. You're getting better. <laughs> I miss y'all.